Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be doing another episode of checking out one of your guys' solar systems. So today we're on part 145 of this series now. Yeah, this is getting crazy. Almost halfway to uh, almost halfway to 200 now at the 150 mark. I mean, that's um pretty, pretty awesome. But yeah, with that all said and done, we have got one system today from the user Mr. Beef in Discord. So massive thank you to them for sending this system in. So yeah, guys, if you'd like to send in your own systems as well, make sure to either join my Discord server or let me know the name of it in the comments that I can find on the workshop. But please keep in mind, Discord is the lot more reliable way of getting a uh, system in. But yeah, now that's all said, let's go to the system. So it's on the workshop here, the subscribe. Right, it should be... Yeah, here we go. So the uh, Ultima System version 2. So let's see what um, he has prepared for us today. Right, okay. So this system is my most completed. I hope you enjoy. Uh, yes, you can copy objects. Okay, right. This looks pretty insane. So let's get an object count. So we've got 30 objects. Okay. Got a nice mix of different stuff in here. So, um, okay, so where are we starting? So Novus, where, where's that? Okay, so we're starting here. Right. Uh, let's turn off these zones. Oh, this one looks nice as well. Nice blue uh, gas giant there. All right. Uh, Norvus, so have you said. Uh, the planet is unique because it's an exotic ice giant that has four layers. Yeah, it does look good. Um, hydrogen, liquid methane, liquid ethane as well. Okay. Right, so there we go. Uh, we'll check the stats on it, uh, the colors. So there you go. There's a nice mix of uh, stuff there. But yeah, looking good. Nice little uh, blue one there. Right, so now we're moving to uh, Onyx. I uh, hope I'm saying that right. Again, I apologize if I uh, scrap any pronunciations. Uh, but yeah, where, whereabouts is it? Okay, it's mainly helium, so it should be a gas giant. Uh, whereabouts is it? I don't want to click the search button, because I don't want to sort of spoiler where they all are. Uh, where, where, whereabouts is it? Uh, can I try, try to find it? Where, where are we? I want to try them doing them in order here, so... Is it over here? Yeah, here we go, okay. Right, the planet is comprised of mainly helium. So here we go. Oh, it's quite a nice um, looking gas giant. Nice mix of bands on it. It's a black and white. Kind of reminds me of Jupiter. But a uh, black and white version of it there. And it's also got some moons. So we'll check these little guys out. So there we are. And there we are. Let's quickly uh, hop to all of those. So a nice um, little uh, tour of them all here. They are very close together as well. That's pretty cool. Right. The next one I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce. But it's like Mars due to red, ma uh, red metals. Right. So that is this one. Right, due to rust, metals in the sky turn to deep red. It has dust storms that can last years, days, or hours. So there we go. So it's like a Mars, Mars-like world. It's got a red atmosphere, as we can see there. Looking cool. Tallest mountain, Mount Cali. That's cool. Right, and it's also got some small moons like Mars has as well. Some little asteroid-like moons. But yeah, the main planet itself, though, looking good. Nice red um, atmosphere on it. I like that. Awesome stuff. And then, yeah, it's all just got some little minor moons there. Alrighty, so now we're taking a jump. So, so okay, so where, where are we now? It's kind of weird doing them in a weird order. I guess it's something new on the table, though, so we don't usually just hop around. Uh, we usually just do them all in order, but these ones seem to be uh, in different order to the way we're viewing the objects. So, where is Lehu Lipo? Is it, is it around here? Can't find it. Uh, I've got no clue where it is. I guess we'll just have to come to that when we uh, when we find it, unless it's... Uh, have I missed it? I, I can't. I can't find it. <laughs> okay. Um, so the next one is um, oh Haku. Okay. So can we can we find that one? Yeah, it's a little confusing to navigate this one. Not uh, not gonna lie. Yeah, I can't. I can't find the the Lehu Lipo one. Is that? It's got to be over here. I've I've got I've got no clue where, whereabouts that is. I mean, I, I really don't want to search it though because it sort of kind of spoils it. But I mean. So where, where is it? I'm, I'm going to try not looking at it. I'm just typing it in. Uh, I completely butchered that. Okay, so here. So where is it? So it's over here. Oh, it's around this tiny little star. Yeah, that, that would have been quite hard to find. Right, so this one here. Right. Uh, so Lehu Lipo. So this is a planet that is mainly sandy like a desert due to high wind speeds. Dust gets kicked up into the atmosphere, which makes it that color. When earthquakes happen, it causes uh, fissures that uh, reaches around the whole planet. Okay, so there we go. Looks quite good, actually. I like it. It's a desert-like world. It's very, very close to these pulsars, though, so it must be absolutely scorched by all the stuff around here. I mean, look, uh, very uh, close. Must be a lot of radiation uh, chilling around this area. I mean, it's pretty close to this double sort of pulsar area here. I wonder if this one's got anything around it as well. Oh, that's a lot bigger uh, than the other one. And then it's also, we've also got another one over here. So is this the uh, Ohakui? Okay, so here we go. So this is the next one. Right. There's a mountain-like world with the canyons and mountains. Small particles that are called snowstone is moved by the wind that can damage spacesuits. Okay, so it's got some slight uh, piercing sort of uh, stuff flying around on this. That's pretty crazy. So particles, stone, snow. That's interesting. 
Um, and yeah, here are the moons. Right, so there we go. So we should be able to navigate around the system pretty comfortably now. So, uh, yeah, we've done all those. Okay, so where's this ta Totra one? Okay, so that's over here. Right, so this is a habitable world similar to Earth. It has tall green trees, green grass, and blue skies. The race that live here is called the uh, Oxna. They can be heard as uh, tall as eight feet, and they have white skin, a big head, yellow eyes, and a spider-like mouth. Okay, that's that is a very nice-looking world there. Like it kind of, it's like a sandy, beachy world, archipelago sort of looking world that comes to eye when I see this. Very nice indeed. I like this. That is a really nice Earth-like world. I have to say, really, really nice job. Um, down here, 97 and 61. So some good stats on it. Similar to Earth in size and radius and all that as well. So yeah, very nice indeed. That is my favourite so far in this system. And yeah, here are the moons. So there's two little small guys there. That's a, that is a beautiful earth like Well, let's just uh, let's take all the labels off and just uh, admire it. If we can, uh, there we go. So we can turn the HUD off. I really, really like the design on that. The colour choice. It's got lots of ice and snow on it. Really, really like it. Also, there's the city lights as well. I didn't even notice those. But yeah, there they are. Really nice stuff indeed. So let's uh, turn our orbits and labels back on. Right, awesome. Right, so next up we've got Leo. I saw that one already. That's, um, where is it? I've, I've lost sight of it. So it's it's not around this star. So we've done that. I think we've done all of that stars now. Is Leo over here? Yeah, there it is. Yeah. Right. As no information, uh, we know that life cannot live here due to uh, water containing higher concentration of salt than on Earth. Okay. So it's a very salty uh, ocean world. So here is Leo. Right, so it's got uh, little smaller stats um, for Earth, larger mass, smaller radius. If we look down here, 94 and 12 on the stats. But yeah, more of an orange ATM colour there. Right, and then onto the moon. So it's got uh, one moon as well in a nice reddish colour. Right, so I'll close that one off now. Right, so we've done Leo. Right, now we've got Pulat. So I'm guessing that'll be around the last star over here now. So where is Pulat? So it's this green one. It's a planet like Mercury. It has no atmosphere. On the surface, blue lights can be seen. These are crystals that can reach as high as skyscrapers. Okay, and there you go. So there are the glowing crystals. Yeah, I like it when people use city lights for different uh, things other than cities, like a little back background to it. I think that's really cool. So awesome stuff. Gl b glowing blue crystals. That's awesome. Right, um, reaches high skyscrapers. Okay, and the last object on the list here is Nako, a world of a species called the Nullio. No other information. So that's this world here. Righty, so there's Nako there. Nice, uh, another good-looking Earth-like world. So we check the stats, and it's got a very high level of land on one side, but the other side is more ocean-like. Look at that. So this, I guess you, this would almost be like the, the, the equivalent of the uh, Pacific Ocean. And then over here, we have just got a big load of land... I mean, yeah, look at that. So you have one big ocean and then a big chunk of land. That's quite cool. Uh, let's check the stats on it. So uh, down here, 87 and 50. So another decent world there. All righty. So that is Nako. And then um, that's all of the information. But yeah, there is a few other worlds we've not actually, uh, that weren't on it, I believe. So we uh, did we visit this one? I don't think we visited this one. It's a glowing hot one. We've definitely not been here yet. But here is uh, some of the other worlds. So okay, so we've done the, this little one. We can check the star itself, I guess. But yeah, there are its stats. So a little larger than the sun when it sets there. We started off at this blue one. Um, we've done all the objects around this star. Uh, if we go back to the uh, two pulsars in the middle here. I like the binary pulsar in the middle. That's pretty cool. So we've done that one. Yep. And then over here, we uh, I believe we have done all of these as well. So let's just uh, quickly have a look. So there we go. I don't know if we visited that one, actually. Um, but yeah, there we go. So we did um, these guys. And there we are. So that is all of the worlds in the system. So quite a cool design system as well, the way it's laid out. It's quite a unique one with like different stars on different sides, stuff like that. But yeah, there we go. So a massive thank you to um, the creator of this system for sending this in. So yeah, that was the user Mr. Beef in Discord. So a massive thank you to them once more. But yeah, if we get a lineup of all the objects now, so that they are there as well. Right, but if we get a full lineup, here we go. All right, so um, yeah, we'll put labels off. Yeah, if we go all the way down here, we see the Pulsar star. Quite a cool shade of blue that is. But onto the planets. So we've got a nice blue one. But oh yeah, my favourite has got to be this one. I think it was it. Was it this one? Yeah, the nice uh, sandy archipelago looking world. I think that takes the cake for my favourite in this system. I did like the red one with the Mars, uh, the red um, coloured atmosphere on there as well. There's the other, and there's Nako again. Then we also had some other objects on here. And then the uh, Pulsar at the very bottom. But yeah, that earth -like world definitely takes the cake um, for me there. But yeah, with all that said and done, guys, a massive thank you for watching today's video. 
And yeah, if you'd like to send in your own uh, systems, make sure for, to follow the instructions I said at the start of the video. So that's Discord or the uh, let me know in the YouTube comments. But yeah, with all that said and done, guys, a massive thank you for watching again. Um, and yeah, make sure to subscribe for new helps on the journey to 17,000 subscribers. And um, also, let's see if we can go for 30 likes on today's video for part 145. And so yeah, stay tuned for more of these um, episodes in the near future. But yeah, guys, now um, we are at the end of this um, episode. So yeah, make sure you have a great day. Stay safe out there, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.